Aren't you like 40? No, no. A long time ago, I met this guy and made a deal where I get to stay 25 years old for forever. What guy? Tall fella, horns, red fur, I don't know, little hoods. Keen, that's the devil, dude. What? Nah, I thought it was like a Times Square Elmo or something. What? Nah, I thought it was like a Times Square Elmo. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Laid Back, with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok, you up to bat. It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water, man. You already know what it is. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. Like I said, the Elevate More merch is coming soon. It's fire. Also, if you wanna binge watch and go through my whole playlist of TikTok reactions, they will be at the end of the video or you can just go to my my channel and go to playlist and boom and it's right there you can just have yourself a blast but we back with another scary creepy conspiracy theory tiktok video man hey we back and if you make it to the end of this one do a real one for real and i'll be seeing y'all comments too some of y'all be like yeah in the 1950s they was promoting cigarettes and yeah they it's crazy seeing some of the comments and seeing y'all actually like connecting with some of this stuff, but also do your own research. Do your own research, man. But let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. Top five of the scariest videos I found online. I bet you can't make it to the end of the video. The last one is scary. Number five, okay. three friends were playing guitar and singing in their room. You know, just having a good time. When something scary appears in the balcony door window, you could see a white figure appear quickly and disappear once the camera pans back. Get out of my leg, I don't see nothing right now. Whoa, I did see that. I think I've seen this before. Woo, spicy. Hey, maybe you just like the this music. <laughs> Wanted to do a little dance. Get a little boogie. Get it? <laughs> boogie, boo. Please don't unfollow me. Before we get to the next one, can you hit that like button for me? If you get 100,000 hearts, I'll do a part three. Number four, 000. a man wakes up to hearing strange noises in his house. When he goes to turn on the lights to see what it is, they seem to not be working. Watch what he sees next. Let me back up because I don't know what the hell might be going on. You're not about to catch me off guard. Tired of these ghosts messing with electricity when they do not pay bills. Do you know how much an electric bill is right now? Pay up or get out. Okay, check this out. You're alone in the middle what? of the night and you're in a hotel when this happens. Bro, that's a big ass human or whatever. No way. Bro, no. First of all, why you got your door unlocked? Hell nah, I'm throwing the latch on it. What? What's your next move? Oh no. Let me know down below. Number three, chills. on the 30th of April, 2022 at 2 a.m., a security camera captured this. Some believe it's a creature dragging a bag, while others believe it's someone walking backwards. A short while after, the security camera catches this. Whoa. If it's somebody walking... It's the same figure. What do you think this creature is? Number two. The little girl is in the kitchen alone. And it We've looks like she's one. talking to someone. The home security camera captures this. We've seen this one. If you watch my scary videos, we've seen this one before. That joint tried to pull it. Uh-uh. So now they're not paying bills and trying to take our food? This is the last straw. Hello, Ghostbusters. A woman and her child is seeing something in the window, but every time she goes to open it, nothing appears to be there. Watch what happens next. <coughs> Let's back up, because we don't trust this stuff here. Yeah. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it got in the house, and they didn't even realize. Should I do a part three? We had 
four presidents in New York City today. Three of them were here uh, for a political reason. Three of them were here to raise money. Three of them were here to make sure that the fourth president didn't become president again. And one president, one president alone, was here to pay respect to a fallen police officer who should never have died in the line of duty. Mm. Now, you see that front line in front of that funeral home. I've been in that line many times. And what you have are the law enforcement community who know who supports them. They know who doesn't support them. Mm. And today, when Joe Biden landed at 1.30, he could have gone to that wake. He did a podcast with some celebrity. That's Ooh. more important to him. Raising money is more important. Joe Biden is about America last. Donald Ooh. Trump is about America first. Joe Biden is about opening the border in sanctuary cities and recidivist crimes. Donald Trump is about law and order and supporting the police. And I have to tell you, I am so fed up with Corinne Jean-Pierre. We're going to blame the gun. Did that gun walk out of that car and shoot Officer Jonathan Diller? Mm. No. Dirtbags had those guns. Both of them had illegal guns. And stop telling me about all your gun legislation because I don't want to hear about it. I've got 32 years in this business. They commit crimes with illegal guns. They don't give a damn what legislation you pass She's and how many in. clips you can and bullets in your clip in your magazine. That's a bunch of nonsense to them. Both of them had illegal loaded guns in that car and were ready, willing, and able to use it in a city where they're not going to be held. One was in prison for attempted murder, all right? And he's out on bail for gun possession. Are you kidding me? Right. Mm -hmm. This is the fall of a civilized society. When we don't respect police and law enforcement, when we don't recognize it's time to take it to the Democrats, it's time to put it to them. They are responsible for this nonsense social justice, she bail reform, playing. which is nonsense, and all of these progressive DAs. Hochul should be getting rid of the DAs that aren't prosecuting crimes. Hochul should be moving for legislation to protect New Yorkers. I'm sick of sanctuary cities. I'm sick of illegals getting protected in sanctuary cities when they commit crimes. At least mm. Americans, when they commit crimes, they go to jail, but not the illegals. Enough of this. If you don't want to lose this country, there's only one man who's going to say it. Whoa. She wasn't playing. She wanted all the smoke. Guys, pay attention to this. I want to thank God is the one and only true living God, the creator of heaven and the universe. Jesus Christ is God. What Obama about to say? He said you're the Antichrist. They say he was the Antichrist. Watch how Satan takes over Obama on live TV. Is that his jacket? Is that his jacket? I don't see that. Is that his jacket? They, uh... That's it. Amanda Bynes, Drake right. Bell, Dan Schneider, Nickelodeon. The Quiet On Set documentary series recently dropped on Max, and the four episodes lay bare a story of alleged abuse and exploitation on Nickelodeon's biggest TV show set. These are the major figures and themes featured in the docket you should know, and some of the conversations that have cropped up as a result of the documentary. Amanda Bynes is one of the biggest stars to come out of this Nickelodeon era. She came on during the All That phase, got a spinoff show called The Amanda Show, and blew up in popularity. She was a mm -hmm. huge Dan Schneider favorite. She's not actually interviewed, but the doc features her story heavily via her co-stars. After Nickelodeon and some movies, Amanda had a pretty public breakdown with fans comparing her situation and conservatorship to Britney. She's physically mm. changed a lot, which has become fodder for people to speculate on her mental state and the consequences of her time People Dan changed. Schneider. Though. Drake Bell was, of course, on Drake and Josh, a show also led by Dan Schneider. He does appear in the doc, where he tells his own story of childhood sexual abuse at the hands of dialogue coach Brian Peck. Peck pleaded mm. no contest in 2004 and spent 16 months in prison. Drake was unnamed in the case, and this doc is the first time he's telling his story publicly. Since quite on 
Sunset release, Drake has garnered a lot of sympathy online. However, plenty of people have been quick to point out that Drake has also pled guilty to his own child endangerment charges in 2021. His victim has also publicly accused him of sexual assault since, and he's denied Hell his allegations. No. And Dan Schneider is the person at the heart of the documentary. He was the creator and executive producer of many popular Nickelodeon shows and had immense power on these sets, which the documentary alleges he abuses in multiple ways, through sexist hiring practices, creepy and inappropriate humor towards his staff and child stars, and general Hell neglect. No. Dan Schneider has since released his own apology video, a 19-minute interview with Boogie, who is an actor on iCarly, another Nick show run by Dan Schneider. In wow. it, he says he regrets his past embarrassing behavior and that he owes some people a pretty strong apology. It was wrong. It was wrong that I ever put anybody in that position. It was the wrong thing to do. I'd never do it today. I'm embarrassed that I did it then. I apologize to anybody that did I ever get locked in that up? situation. Did he get locked up? Did anything happen to him? Why is Disney trying to cover this up? Fired. It was all over the media. It was literally viral in that time. In so not only were they sucking you and now you're gonna they were also blaming you yes blaming me and putting disney under pressure to fire me wow wow the disney network is disgusting for what they've done to bella thorne she was exploited by them her entire childhood mm. executives would threaten her to live a certain way or become blacklisted in the industry all while she was being touched by a creep living in her own home. So let's get into it. This should be crazy, boy. For whatever reason, Disney is the hardest to expose, and that's because they are so secretive. But Bella Thorne is coming forward with her story. These headlines yes, are should. ridiculous. They read that Bella Thorne says that she lost a role at 10 years old because a director accused her of flirting with him. I, I, I had a director give me feedback once, and I was 10. And they call, the casting director calls my agent, and my agent calls my mom, and they're like, so he, she's not moving forward because the director felt like she was flirting with him and it made him really uncomfortable. So this grown man who works with children feels uncomfortable by a 10 year old Bella and he decides to call an agent, a manager, and then, you know, eventually gets to her mother. But I can't imagine this grown person being in a position to where they feel comfortable going and calling all these people claiming that this little old Bella was too flirty and it made him uncomfy. This is a shocking moment from Bella's career. She's had plenty of shocking moments, but she went on to a podcast recently and she's been sharing a few different stories about her time at Disney. You guys know out, how though. I feel about child stars and I think it's incredibly brave that these people are coming forward. Absolutely. I mean, Bella claims that she didn't even really want to be an actress. She was kind of forced to do so. Growing up, that acting was my choice and that it was my only one. Mm. Um, that if wow, I failed acting, I'd never have a career anywhere else because I didn't go to school, right? Because I didn't learn anything and because I really knew how to read, mm -hmm. let alone mm. like and multiply and do this. Shit. So it was like, for me, I'm I'm kind of I I'm still mad about that. Of course, and I want to go to school now. I want That's to uh, get an amazing tutor to really. Take me back to the basics and reteach me all over again things I didn't learn. And mm -hmm. that, like, that's the thing I just wouldn't want my kid to have. I would never want you to put all your kind of eggs in one basket. Luckily, this basket worked out for me. I'm glad they're coming out now, for sure. This is how a real person looks when they open their mouth big and wide. You Why should you always like see their bottom row of teeth. Especially Britney, her bottom teeth have always been a part of her smile. Whether she is smiling big or talking or being goofy. We always used to see her top and bottom row of teeth quite frequently. She never has had missing like teeth on her bottom row and she has never had all gum on the bottom row. Why he sound like this? This person looks like a baby's mouth when they start to cut teeth. Half of them are missing and half of them look like they just broke through the gum. And this person has no bottom teeth. No bottom teeth. So where Same teeth here. Go? And here looks what like a row hell? of gums with the teeth starting to grow in the front. No bottom teeth. What? Same here. And here. And what here. Her teeth? And yep. here. And here. 
and this one is quite alarming, but clearly no bottom teeth. Bro, where's and her teeth same head? here. The point is a majority of Britney's videos she is usually hiding her bottom row of teeth or she is missing her teeth. Ask yourself this. Why has her smile completely changed? Britney is known to have this big beautiful smile. She used to show both her top and bottom Damn, row of Brittany. teeth. I rarely see that smile anymore. A person can't change how they have smiled throughout their entire life. Most of her Instagram videos over the past year it's very rare if you see her old smile. That's wild. Don't believe me? I encourage you to look through her Instagram and try to find her old smile. There are very few videos up that actually show it. Side note, I'm not talking about how her teeth have drastically changed. I'm only talking about how she smiles. It's a fact that AI can't generate teeth properly, which is why you see her teeth glitching and disappearing all the time. This technology exists, and there are only so many excuses you can use before you start realizing that something is terribly wrong. Where is the real Brittany? Oh, they basically saying she done got cloned or something like, where's the real Brittany? No, I'm telling you, Phineas and Ferb is actually pretty dark. You're talking about the kid show. It's not just a kid show. There's a lot of dark secrets. For example, do you know how Doofenshmirtz became a doctor? Wait, wait, how? Well, his name in German translates to fool in pain. When he was born, his parents never showed up. Whoa, whoa, that's mm. not possible. It is, I'll explain. Throughout the show, he's constantly neglected. So much so, that he becomes friends with anyone or anything. Mm. People called him weird, and he was bullied by his classmates. He would host his own birthday parties to numb <laughs> the pain. Wow. In fact, his mom and dad were so disappointed in him, they replaced him with a dog and named it only son. They even had another wow. child named Roger, who they truly cared for, as he outshined Doofenshmirtz. But, no matter how much he failed, he still tried to make them proud. He mm. even won his mom a teddy bear from a claw machine. She gave it away to his brother. Damn. Why are they even treating him like that? The reason right. why he says his parents never showed up is because he was born to a biological mother that's never shown. The parents that we see are his adopted mother and father. Oh. Fans believe they adopted him just to get benefits. So then how did he become a doctor? He wow. claims to be a doctor, but he actually bought his doctorate. Low key, this explains why Dr. Doofenshmirtz is so close to Perry. It's his only friend. It's usually the funny ones that are going through it. Mm. They broke that down, boy. This is fucking spooky. Have you heard of the Kobe Bryant conspiracy theory? Okay, you're gonna add all four of these numbers and then tell me what you get. If you did the math right, you would have gotten 8,024. Kobe's jersey numbers were 8 and 24. Mm -hmm. And if you take these numbers and add each number individually, you're gonna come up with the number 41. Kobe Bryant was 41 years old at the moment of his death. Mm. This is so fucking crazy. So they died on January 26. Now, if you add those numbers individually, you get the number nine. And there were nine people that died in the helicopter crash. What? Now this last part had me spooked. So the helicopter departed at 9.06 in the morning. And at 9.47, they reported the crash. If you take 9.47 minus 9.06, you get 41. The helicopter crashed within 41 minutes of departing. Whoa. Kobe Brown was 41 years old at the time of death. Was there a conspiracy behind Kobe Brown's death? Was it a ritual from the Illuminati? There's all these crazy theories out there. All this math and numerology is giving me a fucking headache. Click the plus sign and let me know what you think. Y'all let me know in the comments, what do you think? You don't get higher than your baby daddy. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Meaning if your baby daddy is right here, mm -hmm. rank, ranked right here, that means this is your level. <laughs> the best you could get was a man to make a baby with this right here. So you don't get to make a baby with a man here and then go up here for a man to provide for him. You don't Ooh. get no higher than your baby daddy. Because the only thing that's happened is you're older. So you keep saying, how do you go forward? Uh, you don't. Oh, okay. So I'm just supposed to stay single for the rest of my life. 
No, you should have married the man you had a baby with. Mm. It doesn't always work that way. Okay, I don't, I don't understand why men are trying to understand why would you have a baby and then say, oh, when somebody says you should have married before you had a child. Wow. Um, because I'm not going to go get an abortion every time someone's getting pregnant. And the fact that God... Well, the 30, the the 30, no, no, God didn't do shit. <laughs> the, the, don't put that on my God, your, your recklessness. The 33 forms of birth control. This guy. Plus First the morning episode. after pill. Oh, that'll always work, trust me. Well, well, you know, it does work, abstinence. Ooh. And I've been doing that. Well, but the problem is, ma'am, the problem is you're a woman that says you have issues trusting people. you got two kids by two different men. One mm. dude that you don't, neither one you speak highly of, and then you mm. think you should be able to go out to the market and get a man at a higher level? That's somebody's child. That's a man who had to make himself. Why should a man mm. step, take, why should a man do that and you're not willing to settle? Well, you know what? That's another reason why I'm be doing what I'm doing because of the fact that like once my kids get older, that's cool. What I'm what are you doing? Working and taking care of my kids and putting my kids first. Giving them a life that I Okay, but but do you have a choice to do anything else? Oh do you, have, do you have a choice? I mean it's like you women say you're doing that like it's some badge of honor, but mm. because you can't be out here dating the kind of men that you want. I mean, I possibly could. It's just that I don't try because of the fact that... Because you'd fail. Ooh, jeez. Mm. Well, women don't like rejection. You, I, like, man, right about I that. know, I know. Man, you can't get out. Okay, let's be real. Okay. The way you've come in and talked about, well, how do we move forward? Why do you feel like you get to move forward after <sighs> you've made permanent decisions with men you don't speak too highly of? Rest in peace to that guy. He I was. got a video. Like, I, it's so scary. I can't even describe how scary it is. Like, that shit's fucking weird. I low-key got scared. I got goosebumps watching yeah. it. So this video is fucking scary. Just want to warn y'all. It's pretty creepy. So brace yourself. This is terrifying. Hold on. Let me back up. He tall as hell. Let me back up. Some might jump out, bro. I don't trust it. Smoke? Let me back up because they might jump out on me. And I ain't playing that. The door open. What the hell is that? What wow. the fuck? Do you see that shit? You saw the shadow going up the fucking stairs? Yeah. I didn't see and the it, shadow. And then it yeah. opens and there's a fucking person in there. That's fucking creepy. That and you can't intense. even see like the face. You can't like see no features in the face. It's just like a fucking shape. That's fucking creepy. Nah. Nah. No. Put my hand in here. No! Ah! He playing. What? Oh, he playing. He playing. He said Miguel. A bunch of pranks to me. This is the scariest video on TikTok. The hell is this so the video is just that trend where you play a scary audio and then you trap someone in a room and record the reaction. Now, normally in these videos, they'll have like a fake ghost effect, but this one's a little different because it has probably the creepiest thing I've ever seen in a TikTok, and that is this woman. She just stands there and stares the entire time, like she barely moves at all. She's so still the whole time, people are debating whether or not she's even real. Now looking deeper into the account, the woman seems to just be this lady, but they also mm. post a lot of paranormal videos about things that happen in their house, like pictures moving on their own and creepy stuff like that. Mm. So maybe this lady is really just a ghost, but I'll let y'all decide that. She looked creepy. 
Whoa. He left the baby. They might have to move. Mama, nothing you could do. Oh. Mama, what you could? Don't there's so much stuff. There is no one you could. Oh. You could have said you need to finish your game now. It was already one hour. You just playing, playing. Ten minutes, ten minutes. No, ten minutes, five minutes. Bro, what Mommy, is that? Mommy, you are going to school. I said no. Five minutes. Five minutes. And you will off the game? No. no. I said five minutes. I remember those days. Five minutes on the game. Five minutes. Bro, what is that? No. What is that? He don't. Bro, they got to move, bro. They got to move. He over here. He he wrapped up in the game too. You gotta move. You gotta move. Proving that my house is haunted. Way my soul exit my body. This is Tristan. Hit record. Shut the door. Make sure it clicks. Okay, stand back. Stand back. What's about to happen? They gonna record it? Play your footage. Stop. Play it live. Play it live. Whoa. They gotta move too. Hell nah, bro. <laughs> this stuff is creepy. Do you remember out. the time when former Disney Channel star Kyle Massey was accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a minor? You may remember Kyle from shows like Corey in the House. Hold on, man. Slow down, man. Slow down. Jesus. Oh my goodness, they gonna mess around. Give me a heart attack in here, bruh. And obviously that's so Raven. But recently Kyle gave an interview and spoke publicly for the first time about all this and his response is shocking. Kyle is now alleging that he is actually a victim himself and that the mm. mother of the victim is the one that tried to victimize him, if that makes sense. So the original charges stated that Kyle allegedly sent explicit videos to a minor between the years 2018 and 2019. These charges were filed in civil court in the year 2019 and were eventually dropped. The person was seeking $1.5 million from Kyle. But then in February of 2022, the mother contacted another sheriff's department and filed criminal charges. But this is where this gets really strange because recently Kyle went on record and gave an interview and stated that he was actually the one that was assaulted by this mother who filed the charges on behalf of her daughter. Mm. Kyle's lawyer named Ariel actually provided receipts that showed that Kyle had met this mother in the year 2007. This would have been when Kyle was only 15 years old. According to the lawyer, the police statement that this mother provided to the sheriff's department claimed that Kyle had actually promised this mother that he wanted to move with her, he wanted to be with her. Keep in mind, this is when he was younger. And allegedly a witness in the case heard this mother remark that she wanted to become pregnant by Kyle what? in order to get Disney money. Now, something interesting though is that Kyle did admit that he had communications Hello. with this underage girl, the daughter of the mother. And he even claims in a vague sort of way that there was something inappropriate that was shared with the girl and that he immediately corrected the issue. But I don't know, this is just a really strange story. Let me know your thoughts on this below because I hadn't read this part, Kyle's part of the story. And for now, it's really just one person's word versus the other. All this stuff with these child stars is crazy, man. Exposing Disney Channel secrets and shocking unknown facts. Hannah Montana was originally named Alexis Texas, but because this star shares the same name, they were afraid children would Google the name and find 
the other one instead. <laughs> this could have been Troy and Gabriella if their shows are networks. Degrassi and Zoe 101 didn't keep them too busy to film High School Musical. Jump In was originally supposed to be called Double Dutch and Raven was supposed to play Kiki Palmer's part. The third High School Musical movie was supposed to be called Haunted High School Musical, which had a Halloween themed, but it was scrapped. I vote that they just make another one. <laughs> Ashley Tisdale was originally supposed to play London Tipton while Brenda Song was supposed to play Maddie, but the producers made them switch roles to go against Hollywood norms. Mm. Ebony Mel 2 didn't happen because the writers couldn't come up with a good enough storyline for the sequel and decided just to leave it at that. That's So Raven was supposed to have a movie sequel that centered around Raven starting a fashion line in France and never went into production because Raven was too busy touring. Poor baby. Entirely correct. The fact they got away with this on the show for decades is disgusting, as they literally ruined a number of child actors' lives from the show. For those of you that haven't seen Drake Bell's expose, here's a short clip. You know, that I, I don't know what got into me, and, and, and I, I crossed the line, and, I, and this will never happen again. Um, and, well, he figured out how to uh, convince my mom and everyone around to have me, you know, anytime I would have an audition or anytime I needed to work on dialogue or anything, I somehow ended up back at Brian's house. And it just got worse and worse and worse. And for those of you that might be unaware of who Brian Peck is and what he got charged for, he was charged with 11 counts against the child actor in 2003, those of which included a lewd act upon a child, sodomy of a person under 16, and fans of Drake Bell around the world have been in full support since he spoke out with numerous posts like, I used to not understand why Drake and Josh had beef offset. After hearing Josh discredit everything Drake went through, I get it. Sad that Drake, who Amazing. gave so much joy wow. to children, had to suffer so much. Dan Schneider 100% knew about Brian Peck. His dad knew and told Drake's mom, but she didn't listen. Shame. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' honest thoughts on this entire situation? Is it looking likely Dan Schneider will face some serious jail time due to his past actions, or will he continue to get away with it? Comment down below. That in regards crazy. to that previous comment about Josh Peck not defending Drake, which seems to now be true as a few days ago, he posted this very strange TikTok which got people talking. I haven't talked to you since 2023? Take that as a fucking sign that you don't exist to me anymore. Damn, you fucking bug. You got sprayed with the rain. What? Bye. Although because of all the backlash he was receiving, he now deleted it and posted to his Instagram. I finished the Quite On Set documentary and took a few days to process it. I, I reached out to Drake privately, but want to give my support for the survivors who were brave enough to share their stories of emotional and physical abuse on the Nickelodeon mm -hmm. sets with the world. Children should be protected. Reliving Absolutely. this publicly is incredibly difficult, but I hope it could bring healing for the victims and their families, as well as necessary change to our industry. Which is pretty convenient to now come out in full support. When everyone is slating you online, this should have been your initial reaction. Wow. Dan Schneider also spoke about how in the writer's room, inappropriate jokes would always be made, but he thought nothing of it at the time. Dan, talk to me about the writer's room. From what I saw, not cool. No, no, and I, I don't mean to cut you off, but if I can cut right to the chase, let me just say, no writer should ever feel uncomfortable in any writer's room, ever period, the end, Duh. no excuses. Um, most TV writers, comedy writers have been in writer's rooms and they are aware that a lot of- Bruh, if y'all watch this Nickelodeon documentary, bruh, let me know what's your thoughts on this guy here. I didn't watch the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? But I have been watching clips and stuff like that of it. Y'all let me know, bruh, if y'all watched it, what, like, this guy. Sometimes there are inappropriate jokes made and inappropriate topics come up. Uh, but the fact that I participated in that, especially when I was leading the room, um, it embarrasses me. I shouldn't have done it. Anyway, I think he full of, full of cap. Really? There are bad people out here at a bunch of different levels of the world, and you mm -hmm. have to be the one as a parent to figure that out or even be around enough or have someone there around enough to protect them at that age. You get, you get older, whatever that age is, and you know your kid. You know when your kid, like you're saying, you know when they understand things, when they're going to speak up, when they can really deal with situations. You know your kid is kid to kid to kid. But you need to be the protector of those children. Mm -hmm. And like you said, I don't care if it's money involved, fame, whatever you want them to become, mm -hmm. whatever you're, you're, you're trying to manifest for them, 
you still got to be a parent. You're not a manager. You're still that parent. Right. And, and when the days end, the start and end of the day, you're that parent first, not a manager. They hide in broad daylight. You know, they establish some level of trust with, with the parents or the adult that, that have to uh, watch over these kids. Like, even online. You know, my son, he's a gamer. He's online a lot, and I have to constantly ask him, you know, who's that you're chatting with on mm -hmm. Discord? You know, what's their age? Mm -hmm. You know, I vet the person that's on the, on the opposite end of the chat. Parents, protect your children at all costs. Absolutely. But more importantly, just, it's about paying attention to your kids. Absolutely. You know, being in their lives, asking questions every single day. Absolutely. Do not get complacent or comfortable because it only takes a moment for someone else or to just slither in and, and, and start inviting and doing things, all these different things to your children. So um, I, I guess that's my two cents on it. Hold up. Limitless. Absolutely. Protect your kids. Absolutely. 100%. Did you know the Pillsbury Doughboy is inspired by my true and tragic story? What? Hello, I'm Phil from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the 1960s. I was a 24-year-old aspiring pastry chef that had just recently moved out of my mom's house to live on my own. Okay. So, I worked at a local dough factory to help pay for my basic needs. One terrible day, a few weeks into my new job, chaos erupted as the alarms went off across the factory. All the dough began pouring out of a busted pipe mm. and started to quickly fill up the factory like a mudslide. The workers started to panic as they found themselves stuck waist-deep inside the dough, wow. with no chance of escaping. Even with all the chaos, I sprung into action and used my quick thinking to reach the hole in the pipe. In a desperate attempt, I put my mouth over the hole, no. temporarily stopping the flood as I consumed all the dough. No. This gave the firefighters enough time to rescue all my trapped co-workers. What? However, the 600 pounds of dough had a negative impact on my health. They rushed me to the hospital, but it was too late. Oh, hell no! 6 hundred pounds of dough and you still was alive bruh ain't no way eight and i sadly passed away they renamed the dough to honor my name ain't no way i mean it could be true do your research let me know this episode comments. of phineas and ferb made parents furious now it would take a lot for parents to hate the innocent shows that have aired on disney channel let alone a show as wholesome as phineas and ferb however this episode may have just done the trick as it was the reason many parents didn't let their kids watch the show any longer so you know how one of the show's many recurring jokes is that phineas and ferb never get caught creating unbelievable inventions well this cycle gets broken in the episode titles phineas and ferb get busted where things finally don't go their way and the consequences they suffer are pretty disturbing but before I tell you what happened, subscribe. Because after they get sent off to a correctional facility, Phineas, Ferb, and their gang of friends get put through inhumane treatment. They are shown being put through intense labor, locked away in cells, and even Man. being mind controlled. These images were deemed by many parents to be too intense for their kids to watch. Man, watch your kids' cartoons and stuff that they be watching because they think they slick putting stuff in there like that. Especially nowadays. Watch that stuff, man. Proof we live in a simulation. It did not render yet. It has not rendered yet. Proof we live in a simulation. Right, it looks fake. It's fake. Simulation. Bitch. Are they twins or something? Look at this. Look at this. So we get a text message. Whoa. Glitch right. in the Everybody matrix. Everybody sees me walking. I'm walking. Look. This plane. Bro, do y'all think we live in a simulation? Is it moving? I've been seeing a lot of these videos lately. It's not moving. Are we living in a simulation? Let me know. But it sounds like it's moving. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, man. <laughs> I just finished a film. It's called Sonic the Hedgehog. Comes out in November. Oh. Well, you know, come back next year. I'm sure it'll be nominated. <laughs> All right, I'm going. Should I take my dinner too? I wouldn't want to leave any of my DNA in the film section. Yeah. Yeah. Jim, please don't make this any harder than it already is. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I can't hear you. I see your lips moving. 
But there's a delay. It takes a long time for the sound to get this far. Yeah. yeah Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank we appreciate you. it. Yo, he always exposing people. Jim Carrey is always exposing people, bro. For sure. People are talking about the eclipse, but they're not talking about this. The what? sun and the moon are not aligned on April 8th. They are in Pisces. Right now, if you go to your Skyview app and you push forward to April 8th, plug it in, it will show you that the sun and the moon are in Pisces. They are not aligned. They are sitting beside each other, but they are not aligned. How is that possible? Because the sun and the moon have been out of place since back in September 2023. I've been doing these videos telling you that the sun is not where it should be. People mm. are telling me it's the calendar. The cal I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. Yo, the sun is definitely in a different place. I haven't moved and the sun sets in the same place. But for the last, like, I think a year or so, year and a half, the sun has been setting in a whole different location. I'm like, how in the hell is the sun? Y'all got to let me know in the comments because maybe I'm tripping. But all of a sudden, the sun is completely in a whole nother spot. And I'm just completely shocked and confused. So y'all let me in, let me know in the comments or something because what she said made me think about that. The calendar's off. Don't worry about it. It's where the sun is in the sky that's mm -hmm. different. Exactly. It's not where it should be. This eclipse is showing you that I am telling you the truth. Because if we see an eclipse on April 8th, how is that possible? If the sun and the moon are in Pisces, it can't be an Aries eclipse, right? If the sun is in Pisces, and if the sun and the moon are not aligned, they have to be aligned in order for you to see an eclipse, correct? So I don't have to be a fucking astrophysicist Whoa. to understand this, and neither do you. I'm trying to get this out to as many people as I can. Please share this because I mean, this is just a no-brainer. These, these heavenly bodies are changing. They are not mm. where they should be. And they damn sure will not show you an eclipse in the sky if they are not aligned. Right. That's, that, that, that's something to think about. I know I'm not tripping. Let me know. Ice Spice face reaction says a lot. We'll be hosting the season premiere of SNL with Ice Spice. Ooh, look at us, three Gen Z icons. Aren't you like 40? No, no. A long time ago, I met this guy and made a deal where I get to stay 25 years old for forever. What guy? Tall fella, horns, red fur, I don't know, little hoods. Keen, that's the devil, dude. What? Nah, I thought it was like a Times Square Elmo or something. What? Nah, I thought it was like a Times Square Elmo or something. What was that? He do look young as hell still. We're gonna cut this part out because it's a little too intimate. Oh. But it's just a hint that she wanted to walk off the show. She was about to experience the worst kind of humiliation. I don't care. Let him write. Can we do the show now? Like, what, honestly, what? With, yeah. All right. I love the new hair. Thank you. Now, it's not new, it's actually the oldest hair. I understand this is for a new movie that you're doing. Technically, yeah. yeah. Technically, for but you also just doing it for you. Is that what you mean? Right off the bat, the actress conveyed her discomfort in response to the host's strange persistence of something that didn't make her feel good, as stated by her at the beginning. However, the questions eventually turned into an upsetting and outrageous touch. And this is step one to being Bruce Willis. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, Texas has his jokes going on. She definitely looked uncomfortable while the audience in the set laughed out. The things were about to change. We're still going to be Can I just do one thing here? I just want to take this mic and put this and maybe adjust your mic slightly. We're going to cut this part out because it's a little too intimate. Oh. The actress quite unexpected. Your chain, if you don't mind, your chain was hitting your mic and we couldn't hear you. She wasn't expecting it to surprise her, and all of a sudden, the person seen that one touch would be it. Stephen Cooper kept making his moves. 
Now, normally we have a madman named Mike backstage that we have to keep chained up. Uh oh, but now Cotton. Now what's gonna happen with Cotton? She took the necklace off. That stuff is weird, man. Keep your eyes on Obama. And look what he does with the gift. Keep your eyes on him. Keep your eyes on him. What are you doing? Keep your eyes on him. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> he threw Somebody it. just got fired at NASA for forgetting to edit the sound out. He threw it. After NASA saw this video. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, listen. Uh. We fucked up. <laughs> what? That gotta be cap, man. That gotta be fake. Do y'all remember how creepy Justin Bieber's Yummy video was? Let's start off with the promotion for the song. Justin had uploaded over a dozen pictures of babies onto his Instagram page with the hashtag yummy underneath. In the music video, you can see Justin eating at a table, enjoying food with a bunch of the elite or rich people. He's enjoying a sandwich until gross food starts coming out. Then he's no longer eating, but all the rich people at the table are still eating the gross food, still mm. participating in the gross acts. Mm. And towards the end of the music video, you see a plate with a baby Justin Bieber on it and it says yummy. During the filming of the music video, Justin Bieber had a panic attack and had to stop filming for a while. And when wow. asked by Ellen what yummy meant, this is what Justin had to say. What were you thinking of when you wrote that yummy, um... Yeah. My sex life. Okay. Um... What? So, yeah, it, yeah, it is what it is, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm married, you know? Yeah, so. so you got that yummy. That's what it is, you know? Yep, yummy. <laughs> what? Getting is it getting hot in here? Yeah. Yeah, it was about his S-E-X life. And then y'all find it weird how he was sipping tea in front of Ellen and got a little nervous. Y'all tell me what you think Yummy was really all about. That lady can come to my house and come and stay. Would you like to come and stay? What? And make sure to hit that follow button because part two, I dive in deeper to what I think it's about. And things get weird. Hell nah, this whole entertainment stuff is weird as hell. Disney is trying to cover this story up. Watch this. Amazingly enough, you're 16 years old. You wrote most of your songs. You're 16. Where does your inspiration come from? Um, believe it or not, being 16, I've been through a lot. So Come on, how much heartbreak can you have at 16? <laughs> oh, a lot. <laughs> we were hooking up, but I said, hey, this is not going any farther. I'm a virgin, and I don't want to lose it this way. And that didn't matter to them. They did it anyways. And I internalized Whoa. it, and I told myself it was my fault because I still went in the room with him. I still hooked up with him. Here is the thing, I was a part of that Disney crowd that publicly said they were waiting till marriage. I didn't have the romantic like first time with anybody. That was not it for me and that sucked. And then I had to see this person all the time. Mm. And you know what, F it. I'm just gonna say it. My Me Too story, that someone did this to me and they never got in trouble for it. They never wow. got taken out of the movie they were in. Just wow. kept it quiet because I've always had something to say and it's wow. like, I don't know, I'm tired of opening my mouth, so. Wow. There's the tea. This is a scripted video. It's for fun and it's made up. That stuff is crazy, man. This is for entertainment purposes only. Have y'all seen this Trump float? Pay attention to all the symbolism on it. What? That's definitely Roman. All these eagles, that's Roman. Roman and Greece. Number two, why is they having a parade about you in Italy? Look at the bottom of the sword. Yeah, look, look at that. Y'all see that? And then that, that definitely looks like some Russian shit. Is this, this, is this real, bro? What? Let's, let's go back to it. That definitely looks like some Russian shit on his shoulder. And, and the whole giddy up looks like a big ass beast. Yeah. I don't know, Trump dog, but I got some questions about the symbolism that was on your float. It's some questions that's very questionable. Let me know what y'all think about this Trump float in Italy in the comments. Like and follow for that. more wisdom. And stay tuned. I ain't 
ain't never seen that. Now, this is scary. You know those Walmart brands, there's like great value, mm -hmm. and then the regular brands, right? So they have Cool Whip, and then they have just the regular whipped cream. Did you know it's made by the same company? What great value is, they mm -hmm. go to the same manufacturers, and they just get it made cheaper without that brand name. So, you know, the canned veggies, the big name brand is called Green Giant, and the great value canned veggies are also made by Green Giant. Wow. It's the same with cereal. There's this store called Aldi in the States. Now, this store is known for having the best products that match up to the big name brands. That's how they promote their store. So if you go into Aldi, they have this brand called Millville, and all their cereals are offshoots of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, offshoots of Cookie Crisps, offshoots of Rice Krispies, and mm -hmm. they'll look so similar, all made by Millville. The real name brand is made by General Mills. They dug deep and found out that Millville is the same thing as General Mills. It's the exact same. They've been lying this whole time. What? They also taste the exact same. <laughs> what? What? Back in 2005, was Joe Biden telling America something? Our constitutional journey did not stop then, and it must not stop now, Judge. And we'll be faced with equally consequences. All right, so that was scary, creepy TikToks, man. Look, moral of the story on this one. Protect the kids, man. Protect the kids, man. That whole... And the entertainment industry and the imagery and the stuff that go on on these shows on these sets in these rooms it's crazy and some of these people are not even getting convicted of anything walking away scot-free this stuff is crazy it's mind-blowing man look man if like I said, if you watched that Nickelodeon documentary, let me know in the comments. What was your takeaway from that? Crazy, man. I pray everybody that was affected by that find some type of healing, some type of peace, some type of something, man, that they can move forward in a healthy way with their life, man. Jesus. Until next time, man. Self-love and positivity, Fire Squad. I got you when you know it. Hey.